One of our favorite setups is the high or low setup. My favorite setup is a clean and simple flat base. I love them. I live for them. I'll take them over anything else. But are there a couple other patterns that you can use? Yes, this is the high or low setup. And I'll, I'll do it first here on QLD. The NASDAQ 100, this low is higher than this low. Notice this, you have lower lows all the way down here. This, this low is lower than this low. This low is lower than this low. This low is lower than this low. And then it rallies up and then it falls and hits another low. And then it rallies up and it falls. Oh, this low is higher than this low. This is a more advanced investing tactic, but it does work. It shows, using the big market first, this is showing that there is a reversal, that for the first time, it's illustrating some strength in the markets and stocks. This low is higher than this low. We watched it. We picked it up right here, taking out the previous bar's highs, and it's working. It's not a huge gain, but it's a start. This low is higher than this low. I'll show you another one here. This low is higher than this low. Notice all the way down, you've got lower lows, okay? Lower low, lower low. I mean, all oh, this low is lower than this low. This low is lower than this low. It goes up, it drops. Oh my God, this is the end of the world. From a psychological perspective, what is this showing? This low is higher than this low. The selling pressure is dropping off. This low is higher than this low. This is the real world, by the way. This is a setup we use a lot, and I love it. And it works. Lift it, and it's marching. So you buy it, and this is the best part. Controlled risk. If it starts to fall, where would you sell? If it takes out the lows of this bar for a very small loss, there you go. Do you buy a lot of shares on this setup? No, but it works. This is a point I want to bring up. A lot of people, and I've seen it again, one of my degrees is in psychology. This stuff going up here can really muddy up. Oh man, the market's bad. You know, there ain't nothing. I mean, you look at this. Here's the spiders again. There's nothing going on. This is ridiculous. I quit. I'm not going to look at any charts. This is stupid. Always look. It doesn't mean you have to be buying, but you're always prepared just in case. Those that said, there's nothing happening here. I'm not going to do anything. They missed this. And this is a good start. It's not a huge start, but it's a start. <clears throat> they missed this. And it's a start. These were all on the list. They missed this. This low is higher than this low. And look at that move. Dang near 200 point right here from taking out the previous bars high right there. There you go. A higher low setup. I'll show you another one. Tesla. This low is higher than this low, right? Good volume on that bar. Look at the volume pickup. Takes it off and it marches. By the way, do I like the higher low setup? You tell me. Uh, back here, this low was higher than this low. And look at that run. They all don't do this. But this is the real world. You want, to be successful, you need to have discipline. You have to have a couple of entry tactics that are viable, that work, okay, and own them. And I'm sharing this with you. This, this was huge. You could say, you got any others that you could show us just to drive home the point? Watch this. You could say, well, that's a lower low, Pat. You wouldn't do that. You're correct. We didn't do it. But look at this low here. This low is higher than this low. And right here, this was on the key list. And look at the volume pickup on this bar. I'll slide this over so that we avoid any psychological bias. Say, oh, okay, I see that. That's a higher low. <clears throat> I guess if it starts to go up, that'd be good, you know? Oh, gee whiz, look at that. It did it, and it did it on volume. Gosh, I'll be darned. Look at that. I guess some people saw that higher low setup right here, okay? They all don't work this good. But that is a nice run. That is a really nice run. Do we like the higher low setup? Oh, it's dropping. It's below the 50 day. This is awful. It's the end of the world. Yeah, okay, so it's going up. I don't know. You know, lift it up. It's no, it's going to stop at the 50 day. Oh, I see. I told you it's fallen. Yeah, look at it. it's fallen on increasing volume. Okay, well, that's just an inside bar. 
Okay, well, I, yeah, this yeah, that's a higher low I can see it, but I don't know. We'll have to watch and see what happens. Yeah, so it closed up a little bit on a slight pickup in volume. I don't know, but yeah, it's a higher low, but I'm not sure. Oh, gosh, I guess other people saw what we see. Team, this is the real world. We owned this. This was on the keyless. I was in Memphis when this at a wedding, okay, all the way in Memphis. It lifted off right here. Entries right in here. Now, I'm not going to lie and say we sold it up here at the top, but right there, folks, that's 100 points on a 200 some odd dollar investment. And dang near 50%. It's a higher low setup. So let's cut to the chase on all this. We know why we're doing this, right? From a psychological perspective. We also know why we're doing it from a fundamental perspective. We have going to master a couple of chart patterns. Now, the higher low pattern is more advanced, okay? You can't stress that enough. It's riskier. But what pattern is the best? A clean and simple flat base breakout works great. Stick with that. Look for volume through that top. Buy there. Volume, price action combined with volume action is kind of confirming variable. Thank you.